Today I'll be taking you through the, the fourth element of plan electro installation work, which is plan for logistics. But before I do that, please like, comment below, share this link, and also subscribe to this channel to stay updated for all the videos I'll be uploading in due time. So today I'll be taking you through this uh, element logistic, and in this case is logistic planning. It's a common word that is being used nowadays but do you know what it means so logistic basically means the process of procuring transporting and storing resources required for a job it might be at workplace it might be uh, maybe you're working on a on a gadget so all that uh, process of bringing it from the store or from the shop to destination where it's required that's what we're referring to as logistic so it's important for the following reasons. One, it helps automate the installation operations. And uh, when I say automate, it means that uh, things will flow in sequential as planned if everything is in place. If all material are in place, then there will be no uh, hanging and all that. So everything will be running smoothly. It reduces the operation cost. If you can get things or material delivered safely without any damages, in that case, it will be reducing uh, the cost. If all the waste can be disposed properly and in accordance with the environmental acts that are guiding all the installation work then in that case it also be saving the environment as well as reducing the cost it enhances distribution network it means that it brings uh, cohesion between uh, the suppliers uh, the, the the people who are now working on the material these are contractors the client all that it also ensures labor efficiency that uh, wherever you're planning, you're planning with the knowledge that everything is in place. Imagine a situation where you are supposed to maybe carry out a, a drawing of cables, only to arrive to the site and then realize that the cables are not even on site. Uh, they, were, they were to be procured, but they delayed. So in that case, you see, you'll be misusing or uh, and, uh, and utilizing the labor. So that's why logistics is important. So quickly, let's go through the logistic process, which has seven stages, and the stages are as follows. So operational need assessment, budget preparation, resource allocation, logistic actors, uh, logistic activities that will be taking place, and also logistic products and services, then system functionality. So when we say this, these phases, so this, uh, these stages, the, from stage number one to the stage number seven makes now complete process logistic uh, cycle. So what does the operation need entails? One, this one means you have to assess all the tools, all the material, the equipment, the personnel, all the services that need to be provided, and even the safety required for the installation project to be completed. So if you are installing a two-bedroom house, then what are the materials that you'll need? What are the tools that you'll need in order to carry out this task? So all those should be included in material uh, in the operational need assessment. Then after you have highlighted or listed everything that you need, then quote the price, the quote for the labor, quote for all that. That's where we do the quotation of material, the budget. The budget now guides what we need. Then from the budget, uh, you can split further into the sources. I understand the budget is just the financial implication of everything. But now from the budget, we have things that are going to be classified into different. So like the finance, which is the obvious, then the human resource, the labor. And then we have the stationery, the documentation, and all that, and also the equipment backup. So all those things falls under sources. Then we have the logistic actors. Now these are important uh, facets that play in logistic cycle so logistic actors include the procurement department finance department the suppliers of the products and services uh, the transportation firms and the one that will be giving out uh, facilitating the transportation it also involves maybe the storekeeper the security officers the site managers all those play an important role even the technician or the electrical contractor who prepares the list and all that plays an important role as a logistic actor. So what are these logistic activity? 
when we say logistic activity because these are the yeah, very important facet of the logistic cycle. So we have three main activities that take place in logistic. One is transportation, the one that people know, you know, you knew before when we say logistic means transportation. So transportation is the movement of people, material in the site, to the site and all that, even from the site. So all that, we have different modes of transportation. I don't want to go deep into that. But uh, the choice depends on the following, the agents of material. How urgent there is material and required on site, the availability of transport modes, yes. I cannot opt for maybe a rail if uh, there's no rail uh, services in the area. Also the site location and distance from the supplier matters. The nature of material, if material is fragile, how it should be transported, if material is bulky, yeah, all that then the cost so very good determinant when it comes to choice of mode of transport but what is very important to consider when you're doing planning for transport is consider the materials mm -hmm. the materials very important don't choose a very expensive transport mode yet the material you're purchasing <laughs> the price of transportation exceeds the material cost so that is very important the safety uh, the personnel and the frequency of supply very important so when you're planning for transport as an activity that's what you need to do and then activity number two is the storage once material have arrived on site they first need to be inspected and then after they have been inspected they will be stored safely so all the stored material should be safe and also retain its nature that's the way it will arrive on site Inspection is done to ensure that there's no damage and also that the material that have been brought uh, comply or uh, uh, match with what was requested. Then the third activity, activity, which is now the most unbinding one, is communication. Communication between different logistic actors is very important. From the person who is estimating to the people who are doing the quotation and suppliers and all that very important and even the people who are going to be installing the the real operators and the lights and also the technician field communication is very important in that case and then uh, we have logistic products and uh, services in this case uh, the things that are now being planned for to be moved up and down and this one uh, like i've said before these are material tools equipment safety devices yeah? it can be even the personnel who are providing the services and then we have what we call the system functionality. Uh, in most cases, uh, these uh, complex logistics have uh, logistic management uh, with the logistic strategies that ensure that things flow. Imagine having a project uh, of installation running for three years. It becomes cumbersome if it's just uh, done casually. Unlike the pro project that only takes two days, uh, I can be the person to go and purchase the, doc uh, the, the material bring and even install yeah so that need to be considered i will not be taking you through more only this but uh, if you want to do more research please go and do more research on logistic that's all i have to say about uh, logistic planning for this time please thank you for watching and also continue being my subscriber continue encouraging others to, to subscribe and also enjoy from this thank you for your time and that's all